Hey guys, I figured I'd do a quick video here. Uh, covering a question I get asked quite a bit is, you know, what is not screen accurate about your truck? Um, you know, whether it was a choice or something, um, you know, that I was kind of forced to do. Uh, but yeah, let me just go ahead and go through a list here I have in my head. Uh, the first one, which was discussed in another video before, was the, uh, the windows. The uh, screen used truck had acrylic windows, <clears throat> so they were perfectly clear, uh, but they were acrylic so they could scratch and stuff like that. Uh, this is the configuration that I got that is the closest to completely clear as you can possibly get. Uh, like I said, check my video on the windows I did earlier, but you know you saw this tent strip up here and stuff like that. Uh, I just don't want to deal with acrylic, it just seems like a nightmare. and. Um, yeah, the glass is definitely uh, definitely more practical. Um, probably the next one here, um, which is discussed uh, discussed quite a bit in the community, is the uh, the tires. So uh, these are uh, Ko tires. Uh, these are not the originals. I think sometime in what like ninety nine two thousand two thousand one some, around there, they changed the tires and they removed that radial marking from that um, so there's one of them over there I have like three of the original ones um, but they're just too old uh, it's not safe uh, it's just not a good idea so uh, that's one concession that I made was you know obviously using the slightly inaccurate tires uh, let me think here inside um, yeah, this piece here, this little rubber piece, I added that. There's a big gap there. Um, the screen used dash, just the way they had to make it mirrored, uh, it left a big gap there. And you can see here too. See, it fits, you know, kind of nice right here. It was cut out. Um, but then on this side, you can see it's just kind of overlaps there. And that's just because the original you know the factory dash was not perfectly sized on each side this cutout is larger on the driver's side and it's smaller on that side um just makes sense you know they had the gauge cluster here and stuff so they had more of a cutout uh that's just something that i'm gonna have to live with and that's how it was in the movie so um yeah so it's not really you know a lack of screen accuracy there it's just kind of an annoying thing um but uh yeah, like I said, I added this little rubber piece here. I had one on both sides because it just kind of fills in that gap right there um, that the uh, factory dash um, would have covered. Another thing is the engine bay. The screen used Explorers had a, a white exterior, so the engine bay would have been white on the inside. Uh, my truck was blue when I got it, um, and that looked really terrible, but I did black on the engine bay. I think it looks a little bit nicer. Looks a little bit more like a, uh, I don't know, some kind of a fleet vehicle or something too, I think. Um, also did the under the hood in black as well. But uh, yeah, I think it came out pretty good. Uh, obviously, other stuff like this, like this battery switch and this port and stuff, you know, that's all stuff that I added, but you know, you can't tell uh, just from looking at the outside. Another major noticeably one is the seat belts. So if you look in the movie, uh, they didn't have any seatbelts in the movie trucks. You know, they never went over, what, uh, they never went above 15 miles an hour or something like that. So it's realistic that they wouldn't have seatbelts. Obviously, for safety uh, concerns, I left mine in. Although it wouldn't be too hard to unbolt the top bolt there and just kind of tuck them away or something if I was really serious about a show. But I don't think it's uh, that big of a deal. Um, one thing I did do, though, was right here... The factory seats have a uh, like a rigid uh, plastic sheath that goes over this. That kind of keeps it up here like this. I remove that um, so I can tuck these belts down like that, um, so you don't even notice them, uh, you know, nearly as much. All right, one last thing with the interior here. In the movie, um, they kind of portrayed the truck to have a interior camera up there, um, which in later shots you see that it's not there. It was actually more towards the driver's side. Uh, I put this on the passenger side. It's just, I just didn't want it in my face there. 
Um, and it's not the same style of camera. If you see some other shots in the movie, you can see it's like a like a flexible, like bendy kind of a. Um, it might even be one of those lipstick cameras, like they mentioned in the in the behind the scenes thing. But it's like a flexi bendy camera. Maybe it could even be like an inspection camera or something that they use. I'm not sure. But I use this one. I know it doesn't look the greatest, but uh, it's kind of up there out of the way. And I think that's about it um, for the interior stuff. Um, yeah, actually, for, for the non screen accurate stuff in general. You know, like I said, I, I try to you know, add as many features as I can to this truck, but still on the outside, you know, cosmetically, you know, have it look like the, the movie. You know, obviously, uh, stuff like the Mac Mini, you know, would, you know, is not screen accurate. I'm, I'm guessing from the movie they probably just had you know, maybe a VHS player or something like that that was feeding a video signal to the monitors. So, um, but as far as the, uh, you know, noticeable stuff appearance wise i think that's about it all right if you guys have any more questions just uh shoot them in the comments below and thank you for watching